With your look around the Air Force, I'm Airman First Class Saomi Sabornin. Airmen from the Florida Air National Guard began clearing roads and moving debris following the devastation of Hurricane Ian. The 202nd Red Horse Squadron was airlifted to Pine Island and used barges to get crews and equipment to Sanibel and Captiva Islands. They also cleared roads in Fort Myers Beach. They worked as part of a joint task force of more than 5,000, providing life-saving measures and starting the rebuilding process. The 202nd is a self-sustaining unit that's highly mobile, providing a rapidly deployable civil engineering response force to take on heavy damage repair. They respond to contingencies worldwide, but in this case, they're working to restore infrastructure in their own state. Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall addressed the department's approach to maintaining air and space dominance with the latest update to the Climate Action Plan. He says the Air Force mission is to continue to fly, fight, and win anytime, anywhere. But there is recognition that the world is facing ongoing and accelerating climate change, and the department must be prepared. The updated plan defines efforts to preserve operational capability, increase resilience, and mitigate future climate impacts. It addresses policies, technological innovation, and evolving operations. Supervisors writing awards have a new approach for nominations. Starting this month, the format used for awards changes from bullet statements to narratives. Writers should use plain language with the goal of clarity, improving the ability to understand an airman's performance correctly and equitably. Writers using the new guidance have flexibility and freedom to capture an airman's performance. Uncommon acronyms and abbreviations should be avoided. The new format will be used for all Air Force and installation level nominations. There is an exception for Department of the Air Force awards already announced that include bullet-style statements in the award criteria. And that's your look around the Air Force.